Biogu vs. New Screen vs. Tmux, Usefulness and Transferability of Skills So far I have used console to manage multiple shell sessions but I haven't tried Biobu, New Screen, and Tmux, which offer better support for multiple shells. They all share one main feature, which is to allow detaching the current session and later reattaching to that old session. To help me pick a tool to learn, I'd like to know, how do they differ in the following respects? Features, obviously. Project maturity. I do not want to learn a tool that is changing too much. Enhancements are welcome, but I don't like surprises such as disappearing features. Learning curve. Availability in different platforms. If I learn a tool, I'd like to be able to use it on a Freebst server, SUSE desktop, or Ubuntu. Compatibility with other interactive shell programs. Can I still use Vim and Emacs NW, non-window mode, or text mode, the same way I am used to? Will the keyboard shortcuts conflict with the ones of other tools? I just tried all of them and Biobu looks like a sort of front end for new screen and Tmux. Then why did someone create Biobu instead of contributing to the new screen project and adding new features? Why is Biobu not some sort of advanced interface mode in new screen? If I use Biobu as my daily tool with new screen as the backend, can I transfer this knowledge to use new screen without Biobu if a certain machine only has new screen? For Tmux vs No Screen Read Mix vs Screen So Mix vs No Screen Unix.sx And several other comparison incarnations that can be found on blogs and such Some general terms that are oft repeated Mix is newer This means it is a bit fancier Simple vertical splitting nice green lines, and a bit less well tested for for example compatibility, to negligible extent according to its proponents. Mix is leaner on resources. New screen is found everywhere and is most probably still more used. Apart from this, one can look at specific functions for one or the other alternative, and personal preference will dominate the discussion. I personally used to use new screen heavily now I use Tmux. I have not found Biobu to have any killer features for me. It provides an abstraction where I believe none is needed for my use cases. Another way to look at it is to note that Biobu can use either of new screen or Tmux as backend, which shows that the differences from a user POF are mostly superficial. Great question. For what it's worth, I'm the author and maintainer of Biobu. Biobu is a configuration layer, originally written to sit on top of new screen, but now also works on top of Tmux. I started writing Biobu back in December of 2008, as I met up with a bunch of screen and Ubuntu server users at the Googleplex and found that all of us maintained our own bunch of neat slash fun slash useful hacks in our tilde slash dot screen configurations. And we had to manually move those around between the dozens or hundreds of servers we used. We started trading tips and tricks, and I began to collect those into the original GPL v3 project called Screen Profiles. About six months later, a whole community had developed around screen profiles and the project became much more than just screen hacks, we had configuration utilities, list status plugins, and key bindings. So we renamed the project Biobu, which is a Japanese word for those elegant, folding screens, and has the added benefit of being able to more successfully Google for Biobu dollar foo than screen dollar foo.
with Biobu now in most Linux distributions, Ubuntu, Debian, Fedora, Arch, and functional on most Mac slash BSDS and other Unixes, it give the same look and feel, convenient key bindings, dynamic system status information at any terminal you might need to access. Why not contribute back to the new screen project? A couple of reasons. All of what Bioboo works just as well as configuration options. None of it needs to be included in the screen source base to be functional. Some things might work better or perform nicer if screen included them by default, but many of the changes are very opinionated, which are usually difficult or impossible to contribute to a 25-year-old upstream project. Also, the new screen project is moving very slowly, if at all. It's 25 plus years old, and hasn't had an official release since August of 2008. Every distribution is carrying huge stacks of patches just to keep your slash user slash bin slash screen working and secure. For example, Ubuntu and Debian are currently carrying 19k lines of code in 48 patches. I learned of Tmux about two years ago, and really fell in love with the source code design, interface, and active community. I've had a much easier time contributing fixes to upstream Tmux and discussing topics on the mailing list. And as a Biobu user who uses it everywhere, I wanted the same look and feel to my Tmux sessions as what I had come to enjoy in 4 plus years of Biobu. So I ported all of the Biobu code to work equally well with Tmux as the backend, as screen. As of the Biobu 5.0 release, Tmux is now the default backend, with screen still supported in a legacy mode. Biobu now leverages many of the modern features of Tmux over screen, including vastly improved 256 color support, UT8 characters, and horizontal slash vertical window splitting. If you're satisfied with the default settings in screen or Tmux, or want to write your own configuration files from scratch, then by all means, screen and Tmux as fantastic utilities that have added many years of efficiency to our lives. If you're interested in a set of configurations that really stretch and extend what screen and Tmux does out of the box, have a look at Biobu. Cheers! Dustin From an actual use case, the biggest difference between screen and Tmux is how they handle split windows. A window in screen is a single pseudo terminal. When attached to a screen session, you can split your terminal into multiple regions, each of which can display a screen window. Multiple regions can display the same window. The splits are not part of the session, if you detach, your splits are gone. A window in Tmux consists of one or more pseudo terminals, one per pane. This means that panes persist if you detach and reattach later. It also means that you can display only one window at a time in Tmux, and that panes cannot be shared among multiple windows. Tmux does allow a window to be shared among multiple sessions, however. I prefer the model used by Tmux, but I couldn't argue that it is better than the model used by Screen. For me, the deal breaker for Tmux was the implementation of session sharing. In new screen, if you let another user connect to a session, or simply have your session connected to more than one terminal, they can operate independently, switching screens in a session A from terminal B doesn't make terminal A also switch screens in session A. The above is not the case with Tmux, yet. Or I haven't been able to find a way to change the behavior yet. If someone knows of a way to change this behavior in Tmux or if Tmux updates to change this behavior or give the option to now change this behavior, please leave a comment.